Most people think I'm from Brazil. I'm not that old, man. No, you're not. <laughs> Do you want to say how old are you? I'm 36. I started like uh, with 3D 15, 16 years ago. But my first attempts with uh, any digital software was uh, with engineering, uh, nothing related to arts. Um, but then um, after that, I moved to advertising. I did a lot of um, advertising and uh, that moment of my life was the most stressful, stressful one because I, I worked so many hours. Dude. For now, we are under this kind of crazy pandemic that like uh, more, uh, I'm seeing like more industry, big companies, they are opening their doors to hire people from different parts of the world. Uh, I don't think big companies pay you for your process. They will pay you and hire you for your uh, final quality. What is going on, Daniel? Thanks for joining, man. How's it going? Hey, man, I'll go. Thanks for inviting me. It's a Thank pleasure. you. Thank you for joining. It's a pleasure. I didn't mess it up this time. <laughs> 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 People don't know. <laughs> no, they don't know. They don't know what happened. Yeah, they don't know what happened. How's it going, dude? <laughs> I'm really glad that you you accepted this invitation. It's fun to collaborate, talk to great artists like you. I've been following your work for a long time. Love your sculptures, your YouTube videos. You. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> It's just good to watch <laughs> when you sculpt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. You, you will. In a, in a few weeks, I'm going to start a new show, all, all in English. So hopefully you will understand because my English is not the best. But <laughs> Your English is better <laughs> than me. <laughs> I, I, I'll do my best. Uh, the, the idea is to enjoy and entertain people and at the same yeah. time to you know, impart knowledge as much as we can. Let's start with your bio and a story. Um, um, sure. I want to like basically know, and I, I've been following you for a long time for, I don't know how long I, I don't remember the, the number, but since forever, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but, we, we, I'm not that old, man. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. <laughs> Do you want to say how old are you? Or you don't want to reveal your age? Oh, for sure. I, I'm 36. Uh, you are 35, right? Yes, we are yes. almost the same. same yes. Almost the same, same age. You look yeah, younger than me. So. <laughs> It just it just an, an effect of the camera. You and no. soon you can trick your <laughs> how <laughs> how old you look. So I put super young. Remove all the <laughs> wrinkles. <laughs> Did you remove Photoshop. all the wrinkles? <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> I, I I bought a, I bought an expensive software that you know uh, erase all the wrinkles and, and gesture. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure you're using ZBrush for that. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit and then <laughs> yeah <laughs> so dude do you want to uh, talk about your your story what made you to come to art and challenges i know you live in argentina i don't know if many people know yeah. that i just said it so they know it <laughs> yeah, actually they, they uh, most people think i'm from brazil i thought the is, same <laughs> we're we're close <laughs> <laughs> and that I speak Portuguese and then Spanish because <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's funny. Uh, well, yeah, I started like uh, with 3D 15, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, trained to do something with computers. I didn't know what exactly at that time. So, you know, when you're young, you just, uh, in my case, I, I want to play video games and and try to figure out if i could do it yeah um but my first attempts with uh, any digital software was uh, with engineering uh nothing related to arts mm -hmm. but after a few years i was trying you know i i became um uh, I don't know how to call it, but I think it's uh, Caddis, which is you, you use AutoCAD, which is a software to ma for making yeah, uh, yeah. 3D plans and stuff like that, you know, a 3D model. It was pretty basic, the 3D modeling at that time. But uh, at least it uh, helped me to introduce myself to the 3D world. And, and you know, then I uh, I think I started with, yeah, 3D Max. 
So I started playing with the, you know, animations, simulations, modeling in a different kind of level, mm-hmm. uh, like a poly modeling. At that time, we, <laughs> it was funny because uh, we had, I don't know if you remember, but we had, did, did you use Max? Did you use Max? Oh, yeah. Like, I, st- I, started, a- I started with Max. <laughs> Max? Yeah, I so started with Max with- 2, I think. I remember. This is like back in 2001. Yeah, I, I, I started with the 3. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, I think it was 3. And we didn't have editable editable poly we have yes can't remember edit mesh so we we need to draw trees it was like it was a kind of messy but um interesting you know because i was young when you're young you are eager to uh you know learn new things and it doesn't matter how hard it is sometimes you you put all yourself um in in, in the process so yeah it was, it was kind of cool then i was jumping to different you know uh Different companies, different industries. Uh, from engineering, I, I moved to uh, architectural visualization. Mm. Then, yeah, that was a kind of a challenge because uh, it was a great difference between you know trying to make and recreate a kind of um, image for a build. Uh, uh, yeah, building will be uh, constructing the future, but you don't mm-hmm. know anything about it, so you're creating that. In a render, so you're playing with the lights. Uh, with the uh, at that time, we didn't have GI. Uh, global domination yeah. was invented <laughs> a few years later. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm pre GI, let's say we could say. <laughs> um, yeah, pre GI. Mentor Ray brought it into Max. Mentor Ray. Yeah. Oh, Mentor Ray was so hard, dude. Uh, yeah, it was, was so hard. hard. You have yeah, you need, to, you need to deal with yeah, painful. It was pretty painful. But it, you know, I, I, no, it was. You could use ray trace. No, it was the name of. Uh, I can't. Re- I can't remember the engine they they had. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, this is sounds like a we are. We had like a sixty years old. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, like it was like a a century ago. Um, oh. But uh, it was fun. The whole process of learning all these softwares and and jumping between industries was a kind of fun process. And I learned and I met so many amazing people, amazing artists, and I learned I learned a lot from them. You know, maybe more than the, fr- from the people who that surround me was around yeah. me than just from internet sometimes that's uh, that's something that i usually say nowadays say to to the people who hear my um, listen to my uh, um broadcast no, it's not broadcast it's youtube channel youtube right? yes uh, yeah youtube channel and um, like uh the jobs right now or maybe you sometimes it's important to look in a job for um or try to apply a job in where the place have a good artist because you will learn a lot from those artists so but that's something that i i learned through through the years you know and after after um architectural visualization i moved to video games uh, mm-hmm. uh i think it was yeah game love we were we were making um video games for cell phones uh, the first uh, i think it was it was the first iphone that supported uh 3d apps and it was kind of kind of interesting because uh that was my first attempt with zbrush that time just oh, a few wow. attempts yeah, yeah yeah um i can't remember uh, where exactly um in the time but um and the year i mean um but then and after that i moved to advertising I did a lot of um, advertising mm-hmm. and, I, I, uh, you know, that moment of my life was the most stressful, stressful one because I, I worked so many hours. Dude. Oh, I, uh, I want to forget that. But I mean, I learned <laughs> at the same time, I learned, I learned a lot of softwares and again, uh, from, from my colleagues and, um, uh, we we worked i worked in many many projects uh different kind of projects I, I i try everything from fire simulations smoke and water to animations to you know uh, motion graphics to i don't know it, mm-hmm. everything everything well, it was a, a kind of a nightmare but at the same time pretty useful for my my you know my knowledge and um and and then i i, I met uh, 
by accident almost um, the collectible industry. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, it was kind of uh, accident. Kinda, it's always like accident, yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was an, a, a good accident, right? Because I'm <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I don't want to move from 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 this industry. I love it, um, but yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know if you want to stop here. Oh, or wanna... you can continue if you want. the The question that I have is, <clears throat> uh, I, I saw something that was very inspiring. To be honest, like this image, 2011, 2020. In not nine years, oh. you, came, you came so far. Like I'm like, holy. Like, <laughs> yeah, yes, a, I, I posted that the other day um, when everyone was posting their uh, their stuff, and and I got inspired by by many many people um, because um, you can see not only the progress. I think the key of this it is okay. You you can do it too because I did it yeah. that thing in two thousand eleven and now twenty twenty. Um, I'm doing a lot of. Uh, I think are way better in comparison with that time. Uh, no, just and, a tiny and, bit different. It's just <laughs> <laughs> Impos but, imposter but, syndrome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> imposter syndrome. <laughs> but I mean, it, it is for. I have a lot of people who that who send me messages saying, "Hey, Daniel, I don't know. I'm. I have this quality, and I don't. I don't think I will be able to." Uh, reach your your quality quality or uh, that guy quality whatever yeah. and say dude just take a look at that picture and and then i think you will feel better and you will feel more confident because uh, the, uh, i think uh at the end of in the end of the day at the end of the day it's uh it's about confidence it's perseverance it's consistence you know it's just uh um and, and try you know and practice yeah. and study and you need to you need to keep moving forward um because if at that time you know I, I looked at that picture and said um no this is how far as i i can go mm -hmm. and you know uh now we were not having this conversation for sure <laughs> <laughs> so do, yeah. what do you think is the main reason that if you choose like one the biggest contributor that helped you to do to come this far because you said something like um Everyone is like, when they come to me, they ask me, like my students also, they're rushed. They want to finish something in, in a year, yeah. become a good sculptor or a good character artist. And they want to get into the industry immediately. And I'm like, dude, this is going, when I, yeah. when I tell them, I say, I understand your ambition. It's going to take time. You need to be, you need to plan for the next five years, not next five months or a year. Yeah, I'm sure you get that question a lot, right? I mean, um, all the time. so what do you think is the best thing to do to get I mean, from this to this, like what, what, what did com contribute mostly to improve your work this mm. far in, in a short time? Nine years is a short time. And you have been doing great work yeah. since, since years ago, to be honest. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. Um, um, I think you need to understand it takes time. I mean, if you, if you can embrace that uh, mindset that mm -hmm. it will take some time and it depends on the, the, the person, it will take months or a few years um, and it, it is not the same if you for example if you're only training yourself if you are practicing and studying i don't know an hour a day it is not the same that uh three four hours a day you know i mean you will get better results results and, and faster results if you try and 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 and, and practice and study harder yeah. You know, um, but wiser at the same time or smarter, you know, you don't need, you don't need, you don't need to just, you know, be a stubborn and say, oh, I will practice, practice, practice without having at least any clue of what you want to do. Right. Yeah. I think setting a goal of what you want to achieve even more right now, because maybe 15 years ago, we didn't know in which kind of industry we could work, you know, because yeah. at that time, even uh, you know internet it wasn't ex like what it is right now and at that time i thought that my future will be working for a company in argentina in the place i'm living right but yeah. now you don't, you don't have to be attached to that you have your entire wor world to work with you know yes and uh 
yeah, even more now we are under this kind of crazy pandemic that like uh, more uh, I'm seeing like more industry, big companies, they are opening their doors to hire people from different parts of the world. So, you know, uh, I think if you can set a goal first, let's say, for example, you want to go and uh, work for, I don't know, uh, Santa Monica, Naughty Dog, and uh, Rockstar, or any Weta uh, Digital, or whatever. Okay, that's if that's your goal. Just try to push yourself in that direction and uh, try to contact people that is working in that industry. Just ask whatever you want, but try to put focus. And and for example, uh, you are showing right now a flash that's that that's for SciShow, uh, a collectible industry. And if you want to um, work for collectibles, let's say, so you will need to learn proportions, anatomy, because you're you're working with characters, right? Yeah. So, uh, but not only that, you need to try to focus on a portfolio that shows your skills on collectibles. Maybe yeah. you can do some print 3D print tests. Maybe you can learn how to cut and make the engineer of the pieces, you know, um, I think you need to put focus on exactly what you want and, and uh, you know, work hard for that. The question object. that I have, you mentioned print something. You know, some people don't have access to 3D printing. It's a bit expensive. I mean, there are cheaper options out there, but if they don't have access to it, yeah. how do you think they can improve? Yeah. Like if they want to get into collectibles? I don't have a 3D printer, dude. Okay. And I'm working, I'm a, yeah. I'm a digital uh, a sculptor, I'm an art director for a company that basically do prints. Yeah. And I don't have it because it is expensive, because it is uh, uh, difficult to get with the, uh, uh, you know, the accessories and, and, and resins and, and all the stuff. Yeah. And uh, customs in Argentina, it's a kind of a crazy, you, you, I'm sure if you, I mean, you can get the printer, right? But you will uh, get stuck in customs and, and you will have to pay a lot of to. You know, remove it from there to take yeah. it from there so it just i prefer to you know keep uh being the um the sculptor the only sculptor in the world that uh who works for collectibles that doesn't have a, <laughs> a 3d printer <laughs> it you? doesn't matter uh yeah <laughs> that's <me. laughs> no what i mean you have uh, 3d printer services right now around the world i'm sure in the place in Argentina, we have a lot, and there are, you will find cheaper ones, uh, expensive ones. So you can have access to the 3D, uh, 3D printing, uh, even if you don't have a 3D printing in your house. But you can learn the process of what, of the, what things you need to do and understand to make uh, an, an, an object, uh, a character, whatever, printable. You know, uh, that information is online. Uh, you can find it everywhere, and then you can you can use this 3D printer companies if you wanted just to uh, pull some of this into into portfolio. You can do it. Um, but I mean, I, I'm just talking about that if you want uh, to work um, in the you know, a specific industry, you need to put focus on uh, first, try to find uh, what kind of portfolio the people from that kind of industry they are looking for, what what type of things they look on the portfolio of the people if they want, if they want to hire someone, you know? Yeah. I don't think it's the same, for example, body count for for me, it, it I've never taken a look at the body count. I don't know how, how many polys my character they, they 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 have yes but they have and it, it doesn't matter but for maybe for video games you need to know and you need to know how to do some low poly um, versions of your high, high polys you need to know how to transfer your details into textures uh, and in these maps whatever and um, I think you need to again to put focus and understand what exactly they are looking for so you can aim uh, and use your time uh, wisely. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And then, how much do you think? Uh, well, obviously, uh, this is an this is a question that um, um, you know many ask me. How how like regardless of the industry, uh, what do you think about anatomy? Do you, how, how important do you think anatomy is for a character artist to learn? I think it's it is a must. I mean, a you must. need to, if you're doing a character, let's. I mean, I've, 
I saw character artists like they they work for uh, more the cartoonish side of the industry, yeah, and they know the basic and the principles of anatomy and proportions because they are playing with that. They are playing with the proportions. They they are uh, stylizing those proportions, but it is like a before to deconstruct something you need to know how it's built you know yeah so you can you can you can play with it more in a more elastic way without breaking anything in a in a grown way uh so in the case of collectibles or, or video games or movies i think it's a must i mean to know how a male body a female body uh is and the proportion the skeleton i mean you don't need to be a doctor right i mean you just yeah. need to be uh just an, an artist who knows about anatomy and, and yeah. how to play with that one of the things i actually learned myself like this is when i started teaching i was uh, I, I got deeper into anatomy and you know mm -hmm. the, the motion of the muscles especially for you i'm sure you study motions because i mean you know like yeah. every muscle is different but it depends on the flexing or movement and stuff oh, and yeah. i started learning the name of the muscles again and understanding yeah. why this muscle is named like that and it kind of made it easier for me to understand mm. why why which motion is activating which muscle because you know like a, yeah. extensor muscles for example you know they named yeah. extensors yeah. for a reason so i yeah. mean yeah flexors extensors yeah i mean it, it is that's yeah that's true dude because for example in, even if i'm doing um collectibles uh, taken from uh, these characters are taken from the comic world yeah um but in the comic world in the 2d you, you can uh lie a little bit more because it's uh, not because lie because you're a liar just because <laughs> it, you sometimes you like things exaggerate yeah, you fake things in, yeah exaggerate things but you, you fake some things in order to get a better composition or representation yeah, but in a 3D world, I mean, in a piece who that that will be printed, you can't do that because uh, you will gonna see it in three six degrees, right? Yes. So uh, what I try to do it is uh, try to find the balance between the real proportions and real anatomy and and the comic proportions. So the people who is buying these statues, they still re they, they feel related to the characters they know from the comics but at the same time they they are seeing something new in this world yeah. which is you know you, you you can you can see it from every angle you can see it from from uh, everywhere basically and then you need to i think you need to if you fake it you will you will see it, you know, yes. and that's not something good, right? If you make, for example, in, if in a 2D drawing, you just make your, uh, I don't know, your back leg a little bit tiny and um, like, um, I don't know, like a, with a force perspective, you can you can do that in the 3D because you, you want to see it, right? So you need to yeah. just take all of that into account, all the muscles and, and, and in the case, for example, you're having four right there, and yeah. you don't need to do, uh, uh, I don't know, um, super tiny details like uh, fingerprints, what, like I did, because I did it because I, I like it, and I know that I'm going to take a picture of that. And um, even if those tiny details, because of the scale, this is a one four scale, uh, you, you're, uh, I'm sure you're not going to see those tiny details on the final print, right? Mm -hmm. um maybe the print you want to see it but not in the final production because it's just a little bit you lose just a little too bit of small. detail uh yeah too small um but what you can see is for example the reaction of the skin tissue over yeah. the bones right and, yeah. and how that affects to the expression of the hand and you can see that he's holding the hammer pretty tight you know pretty tight yes so instead of just having this just as a small pressure he is making a pressure and and then if you uh, do you want to show it again like i do you want to show it on your hand so oh uh, yeah yeah for example if you if you just press like this it's not the same that you press like this yeah. you, you can see how my 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 uh wrinkles and 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 my bones start appearing you know it's it, and you can see the pressure and even if it's good if, if the painter they painted well and they put more i don't know yellowish color in the uh in the skin who is 
pressing against, you know, like blood flow you know, is whatever it is. Yeah. Against. Yeah, exactly. Blood flow and more, I don't know, uh, red on the bony parts or whatever. I think it, it helps to achieve the result you want. But uh, to I think in order to make that, first thing, you need to love it. I mean, I love anatomy. I love to invest time. For example, maybe in that hand, I can invest like a two days. I don't know. This is and, amazing, man. I love this. Like, it's, it's so good. You, so good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You invest. You said you did it in. You spent two days on this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can spend a lot of time trying to find that kind of balance. You know, that it feels natural, but at the same time, you can feel it that is taken from the comics because it's not hundred percent realistic. Yeah, uh, we, on the you can see it on the face, you can see it on the volume of the body, um, and uh, I, I think it's a. Uh, it is uh, maybe we can relate this to something we we just talked about. You know how important it is to take time and to understand this is a process that it takes time to get. You know, yeah. At the beginning, my statues were not so natural like uh, like right now, and I'm sure that ten or five years from now, I hope <laughs> I get sure. better. And, get uh, <laughs> I hope get a little bit better and be better from from now, from uh, five years from now, right? I mean, yeah. what I'm saying is just um, it is it it is an evolution as an artist and uh, uh, and as a person too, you know, because your your criteria, your eye, you are training to see stuff that you didn't see before and you're seeing right now, and um, and every single statue counts because um, sometimes I you I take a look. I take a look to the pieces I did before to see if I did something better right now on something because sometimes I change things of my workflow mm -hmm. or the style I have and, and I find out what I did before it was better. So I go back, you know, it, it is like, I don't know if it happened the same to you, but sometimes I, let's say I'm, I'm working on a face. Mm -hmm. And I do uh, I do a lot of things, then I save it, then I, I save a few more, and I keep working and working, working. Then maybe I'm going to sleep, I wake up, I see it again, and I, I find out it's it looks horrible. And then I have to go back I don't and uh, you know and, and yeah, I go back and open a, a previous file, and it work, it works better. So uh, the yeah. other question I want to ask you is. Um, when you do designs, I don't know if you can answer it. If you cannot, just say you cannot. Uh, do, sure, you, sure, do, yeah. do you design any, any of the, the figures or you get a concept and follow exactly like what the concept is? No, I do. I do design. I mean, okay. sometimes we, we, work, um, we work with, uh, with concept artists. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, in, in the team we have, we have concepts, uh, artists, we have people... The love comics and they have uh, they give us a lot of input from from the comics we we have um, a bunch of people of uh, specialized in, in mm. on, on what we do right yeah but in terms of the things we, we can even having concept artists we can do uh, and, and, and present our ideas and I don't draw so all what I, all I do of in terms of um, concept design or let's say uh, design in general I have to sketch it in 3d. Of course, I can take just just one day or less. I can do a quick sketch, and then we can start from that, from there, and and uh, do uh, modifications and uh, other versions. And um, but uh, yeah, we 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 have. Um, I'm happy because uh, I work in a, in an amazing teamwork. You know, um, with amazing amazing colleagues. They they have a lot of input, amazing input in all of this. And sometimes you feel that you are taking a decision or a direction is not the best uh, mm. you will have people that you will save you or at least give you you know a guidance uh, and, and that's the best of uh, work uh, as a team this is amazing man i love the amount of detail there is a um, when i look at your sculpts i mean um there you know there is a uniqueness into a sculpting comics right um, you have mm -hmm. a lot of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's, it requires like a lot of, um, experience to get to this level. You know, the design mm -hmm. is not complicated. It's simple, but when you move the character, yeah. I was looking at this actually, you see like the tiny details and stuff, 
You know, there's yeah. a lot of flat areas, but the anatomy, I don't know how to explain. Do you have like big shapes, small shapes, some details yeah. and everything together yeah. works, works really well. Right. I don't know if you, man. if you have mm. like any, any, like if it's hard, might be hard to, to talk about it, but I don't know if, um, if you can give any advice hey. for that. Sure. Yeah, no, sure. Uh, I think, um, I remember, I always remember, um, a question from, from, um, from a guy from, uh, I can't remember, it was a webinar or, or a, uh, I, can't, I can't remember exactly, but he says, he said, um, hey, Daniel, why you are making the suits like not so realistic? Because uh, on top of all of these, you're still noticing like an anatomy and you shouldn't, right? If, if you take a, mm -hmm. for example, let's say, right? Uh, yeah. Um, um, Captain America or Flash or whatever, and and uh, if if you can put Flash for a minute, I, I can show you better what I'm saying. This one, um, yeah, the other one, because um, for example, and in answer to that, it is that exactly what it, it this is uh, um, this kind of a style came mm -hmm. because you need to if you make it very realistic, you what you will get it is a cosplayer. Yeah, it's not a. You know, with all respect of the cosplayers, I mean, I'm yes. just saying it's a different style. You will get a, yeah, you will get just a guy in a suit, and it will be awesome for sure. But it will not look like a comic uh, character taken from the comics, and that's the point, right? It it is like a, you need to keep seeing all those tiny wrinkles and and, and scissors and tensions, but at the same time, you need to see the muscles, the striations, and and um, I think that's what it makes uh, these statues uh, um, so, let's say, believable for the collectors because yeah. they've been seeing the comics and all of these in the comics and they want exactly that. And at the same time, I love that because I'm enjoying so much trying to find that balance, you know, that it looks like he has a suit, but at the same time, uh, is uh, he's muscular enough to, yeah. you know, to make it look uh, cool and, and you can see his anatomy through this uh, suit and, 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 and things like that. I think it, it, it takes time to... Yeah, this I'm is sure. very hard because I, I did collectibles like for um, not, not like you this level, but it's, it's hard, man. Like I know exactly like um, to, to achieve that balance. Like when I look at these, I'm like, this guy can exist in reality. You know, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't look fake. It's mm -hmm. it's it's natural, but mm -hmm. there's like a very nice style. I like the the angular shapes. You know, mm -hmm. you have certain rules. Um, it's just very interesting. Like you can see the muscles anatomy, but you have this fiber. Yeah. Um, you know, fabric detail, but it still looks believable. Yeah. You know. Thank you, man. Yeah, I think that's the point. You know, to make it believable, to make yeah. it that it could be possible. But if you, I mean, uh, the best example, uh, I think, is um, the movies, the, the characters uh, on the movies, mm -hmm. that they can produce a customs in where you can see the anatomy like, like here. They have to put something, uh, uh, you know, below the custom, like the fake muscles to make look more pop, pop you know, um, and and that's why I think they I, th I think they are taking that from the comics because they want to represent better, and or even the latest Spider-Man movie they had to I think mostly Spider-Man is 3D because they don't like to um, when uh, when the clothes when his costume uh, produced seams uh, not seams um, wrinkles yeah so. 3D, you you can you can play with that and and you can hide it and you can do whatever you want. Um, so I think this is uh, something that it is important to uh, to understand that we need to have control and that we are not trying to mimic the reality. We are just trying to find the best place between these two worlds. Yeah, which makes it hard. As an artist, it's it's hard to to see your progress, right? I mean. Um... The, the question that I have is how many years it took mm -hmm. you to, to get to a level to say, okay, I feel like I am progressing, I'm getting better, I, I can work as a professional now. How many years later you, you felt that way? Uh, let's say from uh, 2011, just uh, three, four months. 
Just, Three, four just, months. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> no, no, it took years. It, I think it took me. It took me years. I, I was, um, you know, a funny thing is, uh, I, I gave up for a few years. Oh wow! Since 2011, because I what? saw my, I, I saw what I did, and I said, no, this is not for me. So I kept working, and then. Um, because of all of these uh, uh, works in different industries that I, that I mentioned before, uh -huh. it helped me to, uh, you know, to uh, increase my criteria, my eye. So when I, when I uh, try again, I wasn't the same guy than, you know, the, the one of 2000 level, uh, you know, uh, because I have a, a more experience, more knowledge. So, the first thing I did when I, on my second try was to start with anatomy because at that time I said, no, no, if, if I can uh, model a car with uh -huh. blueprints, I can do the same with a car, uh, with a face, right? And yes. no, of course, you can because you will get a, a box, a boxy face. Yeah. And <laughs> with lights on the eyes, car. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a door, and a handle, and then the, 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 the sandwich. A trunk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally, dude. And, uh, and so, so my second try was more, uh, I think I was more mature in terms of, mm. of um, as a professional. And I started uh, not just practicing. First, I studied. I tried to understand what I was studying. studying. And then I pra practice and keep pra uh, keep studying and practicing at the same time and, and go just I'm um, trying to like a catch a flow, and um, and I think it took me a few years can't remember but I think in 2013 I did my first statue, it was a uh, Beowulf I think I have it in my portfolio oh where like somewhere in our station uh, at the bottom of the um, can I show it or not you can find it in the bottom yeah you you you, you can scroll down don't worry. Uh, and there, the, the, that one with the snake, uh, oh, the yellow one. one. Yeah, that, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah that, I remember that this one. Was my, yeah, my first statue. That my statue. It was my first attempt to a character. Of course, previously I did a lot of um, the practices and, and 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 sketches and stuff like that. But it was, it was this was my my first that I said, okay, I will present myself as a digital sculptor and wow. see what happens. And I got a very good reaction from from the community, and I got my uh, one of my first jobs, and, uh, and I started working on that uh, on the collectible side. And I think it was great, you know, because it I think it passed two or three years from two thousand eleven. But uh, in those two or three years, I learned a lot because I practice a lot, and I and I invest I invest so much so many hours you know and um i think it was worthy because um now i'm super happy doing what i'm <laughs> what i'm yeah. doing yeah uh, yeah how many hours a day do you practice do you work how many hours a day do you spend time on sculpting and what do you do actually beside that what is your routine how do you you uh, seem like a very pushing. calm happy person you know you have two kids yeah. you have an amazing family <laughs> you know uh and yeah. you're like even your lighting mood is is happy <laughs> 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 you wanna you wanna see a happier oh I have a control one <laughs> different light colors you wanna make it dance <laughs> like that like a fashion <laughs> no but uh well my my routine my daily routine is kind of crazy because um uh, it depends of uh at what time I go to bed because my my younger uh daughter mm -hmm. she's uh, a year old and wow. she is doing so bad in terms of going to bed earlier. And, and <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, if, if I, if I, an average time, could, I could say like, a, I wake up at nine or 10, which is a little bit late, but because I have five hours of difference with California, uh -huh. uh, in, where, in where a side yeah. job, uh, they are, they are there. So it's, uh, it doesn't, nothing happened because, um, we are almost in the same timeline. Yes. And um, and uh, I just uh, wake up and I just put put. A, I I don't I don't do any kind of warm up or things like that. But I, what what I do, it is 
with my channel, my YouTube channel, I'm using my YouTube channel to practice. Oh, wow. And this, every, is, this is kind of weird. Every day? Yeah. No, no, not every day. Just on the Fridays. But sometimes oh, Fridays. I prepare stuff. Yeah, I prepare I prepare stuff for for the channel, mm -hmm. and that uh, preparing that kind of stuff it, it will take some time after work. Let's say, for example, I don't know, I I, I finish my day like at five, so maybe from from five to eight. I, I but it, but it, it is very dynamic because my kids they want to play, so I'm playing. A good thing from that working from home it is that you can manage your time. Uh, of course, if you are if you are, are um, consistent enough to I don't know, let's say for example, uh, it is three o'clock, and then my uh, daughter, wife, they want to have a, a walk. We can go, then I go back, and instead of just finishing my day at five, we'll finish at six or seven. It doesn't matter because I can manage my time yeah. and the scheduling all the meetings, stuff like that. And um, and then, uh, as I mentioned before, I using lately, like uh, since this pandemic, basically, I using my channel to practice in live. Can I say and something it, it, there? Uh, sure. Or, since you're doing English as well, everyone subscribe to his channel. <laughs> Smash the like button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it here on the screen. <laughs> Daniel Bell, guys. I'll sure. put the link in the description of the video as well. So. Awesome, thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Sorry. But, um, no, no, dude, it's okay. And uh, I, I, I was saying, like, um, like uh, at the beginning, I was afraid to do something live because people. Uh, I thought, okay, people will start judging me for my speed or yeah. the, the many mistakes I do, whatever. And then I realized that it doesn't matter because. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the companies pay you for your process. They will pay you and hire you for your uh, final quality, right? Yes. And 100%. at the same time, with your process and, and showing that you make mistakes, a lot of mistakes in my case, and, and you do a lot of back and forth with things, you are going, you're showing people that they can do it too, yep. right? They can, they can have my job, not, I mean, not exactly my job because I'm, <laughs> you don't want to give away your job. job. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, don't, I will not give out my job. I'm just saying the kind of job I have. <laughs> uh, or another company, maybe. <laughs> but I mean, they, they, they can see it in, in the workflow, right? Yeah. And with the time, I start feeling more confident with myself and getting better in terms of what things I accomplish in this in in a certain period of time mm -hmm. that if I compare myself like six months ago, I'm not the same artist, which is kind of crazy because six months of being live and, and working live oh, really dude. changed my 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 way to do things, yes. my uh, my uh, self esteem, let's say confidence, and, right? And, yeah, it's a self confidence. So that's it's really important. It's super important. It changed a lot of my, my I actually mindset. Feel, to work. I actually feel like since I started teaching, it helped my confidence to get a boost because I, I realized that the methods that I use work for everyone when they use it. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing yeah. something right here, you know. And then also, mm -hmm. I, I had to push myself to be more accurate when I when I teach. It increased my speed yeah. like weird. Like I, I sculpt a likeness now in an hour and a half. Obviously not detailed and stuff, but I have to be sure. very careful yeah. with the brushes. I don't, I shouldn't like go fast. And I tell that to every, every artist, yeah. I'm like, go slow, just observe and try to be as accurate as you can. I mean, the pressure of people watching you makes you to do that, which is weird. Like your brain sure. is adjusting to it. Yeah. It's uh, you're learning uh, a different way to do things because you're live and people are watching you to do things. But uh, the, yeah, hundred percent, dude. And actually, I um, when I started learning anatomy like a few years ago, mm -hmm. I I, re I, I remember I knew all the names, all the t you know for every single muscles and, and bones, uh, whatever. Then I stopped. I, I didn't stop actually studying, but at least uh, watching all the names. You know, I was more yeah. practicing and. and sculpting so i forgot the names and then when i started my live shows my live streams i had to you know look for all the names again and and study and, and it, it is a you know 
uh, our brain is a muscle too. So you need to train your brain as, as your, like your biceps, you're training your, with, you know, working out, you're training your brain in a different ways and, and practicing yours, just, just your, by yourself. And after the hours or mm -hmm. after work, it's, it's fine. But I think live streaming, it has something special because people asking questions to you, maybe they uh, ask you to show something in particular. Um, or maybe to do, for example, I remember something, uh, th this is awesome. I remember I was, uh, in my, in my channel, I, I make a challenge in which mm -hmm. I, I were, I stopped something. Then you, you have a week to do the same thing. Not exactly uh, copying. I mean, like for example, uh, uh an, an arm, right? So yes. the anatomy of an arm. Yes. And I will give you my feedback, um, um, online through zoom pointings to you some things, right? Um, and I remember I was um, giving a feedback uh, on, on a face and then someone in the audience said, uh, just why you don't convert that face? Or could you convert that face into a pantro from Thundercats? I said, that's oh. kind of crazy, but let's try. And then I did it. <laughs> and I, uh, it was a great and amazing exercise because I did it live. It worked pretty well. And I put myself in a situation that I, I was, uh, I never did before. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you learn a lot of things, not only from, from the way you work and, and, uh, and then, or maybe the new ways you approach your work, you yeah. learn a lot from the people on the audience. And that's something that I love from live streamings. Uh, I learned so much from, from, from the audience and from people uh, that's, uh, and all the colleagues, of course, as well. Yeah, I agree. Which video was that? You said the, the, Black Panther? Oh, uh, no, Black Panther. No, it was a, a Pantro. You know Pantro from Thundercats? The, uh, the, the, um, I, I don't think I have it there. Oh, it's, it's not here? Is a, no, I mean, he's there, but I can't remember which one it was. I think it was a challenge. Oh, and okay, okay. Uh, so let, let, me, let me find quickly. That would be good to put know. the link so people can watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me find Oops. it. Okay, yeah, that, that's the one. I, I, I was just... Uh, give me some feedback from uh, one of the, um, the friends from the audience. And then someone said, yeah, make a Pantro. Pantro, I don't know if you, if you know the character. It is from the Thundercats. I don't know uh, the, the name. Maybe the name in English is different. I think it's, mm -hmm. I don't know. Pantro is, you know, Pantro is in, in, in Spanish, but I, I don't know. Maybe in English, Pantro. <laughs> Pantro, Pantro. <laughs> <It's, laughs> uh, Pantro, Pantro. I, I don't know the name, but you, you, you will uh, see them. Um, if, if you want to just uh, go forward, um, yeah, go forward just a little bit to see the difference, you know. And um, the, the, I was just refining some shapes, you know, of, of the face he did. And then I. Oh, I, back and forth. I see what you're and doing. Then I started like a change <laughs> in the shape and, and, and creating this character. And I was, I was live and it was the first time that I, I yeah, like I set that kind of challenge. Because as I think as an artist, sometimes we just want to, or at least uh, that happened in the past with me. I just, I try to like uh, protect yourself from, from the, what people could think or say. Yes. about you, you know, or, or the way you work or whatever. Um, sometimes it is about insecurity, be, be, being insecure. Yeah. Um, but you, I think if you can succeed and overcome to that barrier and you will feel fine, you will feel better and you will start enjoying the process even more, you know, and, and I think all of all that happened in, in our lives and this, um, and this uh, live streaming helped me so much good so much yeah and i agree i, I think people. it's mostly like you know we are the fear of being judged that kind of yeah. pushes people back and uh, honestly like yeah. the, the the beauty of human being is like we all are different you know and mm -hmm. that's why i don't care like if, if someone judges if someone gives me like, like a good feedback that i can use to improve that's different but if someone judges me i'm like okay that's your opinion I'm not gonna get upset. Yeah. I'm not gonna get ha be happy. I, I have no reaction. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know? Sure, yeah, yeah. But but, but we all we are all different, you know. Sometimes yeah. I, you could take it not personal, but at least you you will, I don't know. Um, you could say, oh, I'm doing what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I thought I was doing okay, and then uh, 
I think it's something for for us that we are not. I mean, uh, we're not get used to. We didn't get used to before to mm-hmm. being uh, watching uh, like uh, for three hundred, four hundred people in life and all having opinions of what you're doing, or whatever. Yeah. Or, or even after, I'm 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 getting a lot of. Um, well, since I started with these uh, collectibles, you get a lot of uh, opinions and feedback, and sometimes your criticism is not the best because you can be. Uh, you can criticize and you can can give a feedback, but a, a positive feedback. I mean, a constructive one. Yes. But when you're just uh, just not trying to be nice because you're trying to be funny and say something uh, uh, awful about your work, it is. Um, I don't know. You could you you could say uh, I don't care, or you could say, Oh, why are you telling me this? You know, maybe I, I'm doing wrong. Yeah. And that's why uh, the insecurity is. Uh, I think it's uh, appears, but. It's 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 about to uh, understand how to deal with it. I think I agree, and you know, it's always uh, no matter what you do, there is always like ten percent are not happy. Ten percent are going to judge oh, you. Ten percent sure. are going to say your hair looks uh, good, oh b- bad, or your your this, your that, yeah. your lighting is different, or why do you use this brush? Someone is going to complain. So, I mean, the, the sure. balance happens like that, right? I mean, you cannot always make everyone happy. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's impossible to to make everyone to please everyone. It is impossible. Yeah, it's no, it's hundred percent definitely impossible, dude. Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you, like, you have two kids, right? How do you oh, manage? Yeah. This is something like many people ask, like me, like I have kids, I cannot work. It's hard with kids, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. How do you manage time yeah. to to do so much work while you have two kids? Uh I don't have a real uh, routine or, or uh, you know, uh, recipe for that. I think uh, what I found it is if you take your day in a more organic way, at least, for example, uh, to me, I, I set daily goals, uh, flexible goals. Mm-hmm. For example, if I have to work in a, let's say, I don't know, a war ring, and I'm saying, okay, today um, or between... Today and tomorrow, I need to finish the gloves, the gloves, you know, all the details yeah. are finished. And I'm trying to finish the gloves, even if I, I, I don't know, um, if my kids want to play video games or whatever, I just put in time with them. I am spending time with my wife or whatever, but I know that I, if I, I can handle time, like uh, I, I'm uh, achieving that goal, it's okay. If it's not okay, because I don't want to uh, put on risk my my job, you know, sometimes yeah. you need to find the balance and I think you need to test yourself and test. And I think more, you know, what things you can accomplish in a certain period of time, more easy, or you can handle, you know, your family and your timings and your work and, and, and your daily schedule. Um, but, but again, it is something organic. I think you need to find yourself the best way to, to, to be with everything but setting daily goals it helped me a lot yeah a lot or weekly weekly goals at least that's great you know another question yeah. that just i wanted to ask you something earlier i forgot like you said back in 2011 you were like you started you stopped and then you kind of like this is not for me right what what made you mm-hmm. think that okay i should get back to this i'm gonna get it you know because you should have uh-huh. a belief in yourself that say yes i can do it it's just like it's gonna take time you know yeah, what? Yeah. What was the force? What yeah. what, what made you that convince good, yourself to, to get back to it again? Yeah, that was a, that's a good question because uh, I think um, I did many things in that period of time of that I gave up, but I think I I, I wasn't um, or any of the things I was doing really caught my attention as the characters did it. At least those f- f- failures that I did, I had more fun. And excitement that all the things I've been doing, you know, uh, during that time too, like uh, rendering. I, I mean, I love rendering. I love um, lighting. I love many, many things of 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 my of this side part of the work. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I I knew that working with characters was something, you know, had something special, and that's why maybe I. I I gave up, but at the same time, I said, "Okay, I need a second chance, and I, I will, I will try again." But this time, it will be more, you know, mm-hmm. smart. 
and uh, I'll try at least, right? So, and um, I think was uh, having that or giving me to myself, you know, the opportunity to try in 2011, it was great. Even if I failed, I think that try, it is why I'm doing this today because I try at least once and then I, I give myself a, this second chance and I keep trying and trying and trying. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that was the motive, I think. The other, the other things I did wasn't so fun and, ex- and excited like, like uh, you know, working with ZBrush and, and in this super organic way to, to model stuff, to sculpt and to paint and, you know, do stuff, crazy stuff. I don't know. I think it's something special. And did you have to do a lot of crappy work before you, you get to the, to the point? Oh yeah. I think we, we all, <laughs> we all have crappy experiences in our, in our history. Yes. Uh, I, I could say all the jobs I had, even the crappiest, and the, 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 the best yeah. gave me something unique to my, my, uh, my mindset, you know, yes. those, all those experiences gave me a lot of knowledge and a lot of, um, experience, uh, to be, to understand, for example, advertising, working with advertising, as I mentioned, uh, I, I, I learned a lot of softwares and application, but the best thing I learned, it was how to deal with people how to deal with um, with uh, clients, mm-hmm. how to get your payment, uh, or how to fight for for a value of of of, uh, of your job, you know, because um, um, how to deal with timing, with uh, deadlines, and I got more knowledge from that side than maybe from the uh, you know technical side, let's say, um, yeah, and, and all those things I applied you know, with, with the time on this uh, profession. Yeah. Um, so uh, everything counts. Yeah. So the, the, you brought something very important, actually. You know, I made a mm-hmm. video, I released it last week, uh, actually last Wednesday, about pricing value and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you said how to deal yeah. with clients, how do you find your value and stuff. What is your process? How do you do that? Like, how do you know how much you're worth? How do you know how to deal with clients to make them happy? Yeah, yeah, that's a awesome video by the way. I love it. Thanks, man. And um, I think it it depends of uh, of the the industry you work, but you can apply the same mindset to to everything you do. Because, for example, uh, in in our case, we don't have any base salary. Let's say that you yep. can you know you know how to look for, for example, oh, I'm going to look how much. Uh, um, digital sculptor usually you know you can get money how many how much money can get yeah and um you can charge so i think you need to in my case i was trying the first time i i i i, I put a price then i shared the price with, with a colleague they said no that's too low another said that's too high and uh, you don't have experience and it was a kind of um slow process so to yes. get exactly the amount of price that fulfill my needs but at the same time i can i, I could say okay um this is my price and I, I can assure you that i will give you what you're looking for you know and i think some clients will say i don't care i just paid this amount i don't care who you are what you can do and others they will say okay let, let, let's let's see and, um, you know, that's something you will learn with, with, with experience, with the fails and, 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 and tries, you know, at least it happened to me <laughs> that, yeah. that way. And what I notice is like, personally, when you get a client that respects your, your price, uh, when you finish the first job, if they're happy, they will not question it again. You know, they will see the sure. value. They'll say, okay, this is what we want because I mean, sure. the work you do shows what you can do. Right. And then, but that's a good client. Yes. That's a good client. If you have a bad client, even if you fulfill their expectations, they want more. Was awesome. 
they were more and maybe for less <laughs> because they are giving you more work. You know, that, that's something that I heard many, many times. Because oh, you're I an can artist. give you more, but I will pay you less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will give you more, but I can pay you less because I give you more. So more is, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy. You yeah. give you more because you like my work. So you should pay me a little bit more. No, no, because uh, the amount of work is what the value is now. That's, that's crap. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Yes. I mean, regardless, it's about like the thing, that, the hardest part is like there's no way to measure, right? The only way to measure it is like they give you work, you finish it in a shorter time, you charge them the, what you deserve because the time is not the thing, right? I mean, if you can finish a sculpture, the value you're adding with that is, is how much you should charge, value based pricing, you know? Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then they give it to someone yeah. else and then they can compare it. Okay, this guy's cheaper. But it's taking like two months and the quality is not the same. We wasted so much time. Yeah. But Daniel is finishing it in, in two weeks without even questioning anything. And yeah, um, you know, that's I the think, only way they yeah, can see that it. Happened. Yeah, that's true. That, that, that happened, I think, in almost every artistic profession. Yeah. You no. Know? Uh, and I think it depends on of, of, of the kind of client you are, you are treating with. And um, sometimes you would, you, you would work with a great companies or great clients and then that's that's something cool but they will pay you like it like uh like this and if you if you want to be here it doesn't matter how hard you work it is it depends of the kind of client you are trying to apply so you need to keep trying and trying but don't never give up because uh, eventually you will get there but uh, th that's something important to say that money is important because in the case of, of I have a family, so I need to feed my, my, my kids, my, my, my family, right? But the money at the beginning is not important. I'd say it's never too important. What important is to get you the, the knowledge, the confidence, yeah. and, and put yourself in a place that you, you, you will not need to find or look for a job. The job will come to you. Yes. And then you will get the offers you want. And the money you want to you want to earn, right? Because if you are just crazy, because you oh this is my first second third work, and I need to uh, um, you know charge more and more and more and get your ambition. I mean, being ambitious it is okay, but too ambitious is not good. You know, just yeah. put your money. Uh, for example, and I hope this is this uh, people don't misunderstand this, but in my personal case, um, if I'm talking in the past, I preferred to work more in the environment with amazing artists and made the payment was, wasn't too good, but I know the real payment was in the knowledge that I was getting yeah. from the people. Maybe that's better that go to a place that you're alone or the people that don't give you anything to you and the payment is better. I would prefer 10 times to go a place in which you can, you know, find something good from, from the people that surrounds you. Mm -hmm. And then you can move eventually with the time because, I mean, time is, is relative for, for us, you know, and even for so young people like yeah. you and me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and, and, you know, the thing that I heard is like some people say there's a cap. I personally don't think there's a cap on how much you can make as an artist. There's no cap. It's like... You can always expand and get better and make more money and and yeah, yeah I, I don't think there's a cap yeah, I mean, to be honest. I'm sure you you will not get uh, the same amount of payment of uh, an, an NBA player, you know. Yes. Um, I mean, there there is a kind of cap, but it, it is true that uh, it, it's up to you yeah. to where you want to go and how much you want to you want to make, you know. Uh, of and of course, if that it depends on how many hours you work. I mean, find the balance. It is the key of success to me. It is, okay, what is success to you? Maybe it's not the same to me, all the people, right? But to me, it is success. It is to be working in something that I love and at the same time, giving a future to my family. That's success. Uh, maybe I don't have a Porsche. Maybe I don't have a, 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 a house with a pool. But my heart is is uh, fulfilled, you know. It's is mm -hmm. uh, is um, happy, you know. Well, you because can, I, I'm doing all the things. Yeah, you can have the Porsche and the house with a pool as well. The thing is, 
now you you spend so much time sure. doing amazing sculptures and stuff, right? Uh, the reason I say there is no cap, like you said, NBA player, which is true. I mean, you can mm. get there if you start your own collectible studio. And sure. you, can, you can do it yeah. easily. It's just a matter of like, yeah. if you want to invest into like the business side as well, you know? Yeah, totally. I think every side of business has they have they, they own good things about things, you know? Yeah. Uh, if you want to keep your stress level like like in the mid, okay, you know how to do it. I mean, you keep wor working. I don't know. I, I mean, at the same time, if you're going or aiming for making a company, I'm sure your your level of the stress will be a little bit higher. Yeah. Because you are getting more. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying that that's you need to know that you will be dealing with uh, more complicated stuff. Like you are going to deal with, uh, you know, probably with the employees with. Yeah. with uh, you know, lawyers and, and, and uh, the administrative side, all those stuff. But when you uh, overcome that, or when you are, I don't know, getting like a, the amount of knowledge to be in a good position in that new role, it is like every single role. Like, for example, you're an artist, then you are a lead, a lead character artist, right? You have yeah. more uh, responsibility. So your, your uh, stress level it's is higher. a little bit higher. But then when you're comfortable enough, you will be back again to the normal, right? Yeah. So I think it, it is up to us to whatever we want to do and what we are looking for uh, in our professions, in our lives, I think. That is true. That is true. I want to ask you one more question. I don't know. How do you feel like? Do you feel like if I can ask you one more question and then we play a game? Oh, sure, man, dude. <laughs> no, dude, whatever you want. Whatever you want, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. So this is what I wanted to ask you. Let me actually get back to your portfolio. I mean, sure. the question for me is, um, like you sculpt a lot of like um, poses and stuff, right? There's an amazing feeling into it. Um, looks natural and all that. Uh, the question mm -hmm. I get is like, when do you when do you know that you're finished? When do you when do you know that you should stop? And uh, when you think you should, you feel like the details are there. How do you f like when you make the expression? When you feel like the expression mm -hmm. is, is correct and you're happy with it, and let's move on and wrap up the character. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most tough thing of our, of being an artist, you know, knowing when it's okay, it's enough. Yeah. And um, in my personal case, I took, for example, that hog you have there, mm -hmm. it, it took me like a three months to finish, to, wow. from start to finish. Take into account, of course, uh, back and forth with the clients uh, and the license and and all the things you probably you're going to um, try different poses or whatever, right? But when you get it and you know what to do, um, something usually happened to me or in my workflow, and it's like um, if I'm let's say for example that I, I finish that expression and today it, it is fine, right? But yes. tomorrow maybe I have a I, I take a a second look and I don't like it. And if I'm rushing, I will not be able to change it. And I do prefer to say, okay, I need more time or taking more time. For, for, for example, I know most of the um, senior artists could, could make that statue in a month or maybe less, mm -hmm. like, right? But uh, it'll, first I need, having more time gives me more time to enjoy the process and if i see something is not good i can change i can try again mm -hmm. only or if i finish it and then i want to i don't know add an extra layer of details or whatever i will have the time and uh like i said before setting goals like a flexible goals uh weekly goals i think it helps you to say for example if i know that face i can make that face in one day I will set two days, two days and a half. So in case I need it, I have that time. And in case I don't need it, I just, I will jump into another thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, and I will, I will, I'm saving some time. But I always, it is, I think it is uh, what you want to achieve with your your art. In my, in my case, I want to make the best collectibles as I can, always. And I am trying to, um, I mean, the best as I can, not as uh, as the, the world. Uh, be, be, 
because uh, sometimes it's uh, when people say, I, I want to become the best artist in the world. Okay, that's a little bit ambitious because uh, define me the best artist, you know, define me yeah. something the best. I just say try to be your best of, the, of yourself every time and look always back and try to see a difference, a good difference between your, your, your previous job, the pre previous statue and your actual statue. Mm -hmm. And if you see uh, that is an evolution there, you're succeeding. If you're not, just try to adjust whatever you need to adjust and keep moving forward. Um, I think that's more the, the kind of mindset that I, I, mm -hmm. I have on, and I learned on this industry. Do you feel like you're getting faster every time you do a, like, um, you do a sculpture? Do you feel like you're getting to the point faster to finish it faster? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Every, every more I do more confident I feel. And, but I'm not, uh, this is something, uh, is important. Don't do always the same, you know, I'm, for example, I'm oh, trying yes. to start every single project from the start like from, from a sphere, from a basement, super low, whatever. But if I can start it from a sphere, I, I started from a sphere. The last three, four projects, I started from a sphere. And, and not because I'm proving myself something, I'm just because I don't want to copy myself every time. You know? Yeah. For example, that's, uh, you have a log on there, yeah. and you would have, uh, if you do an arm, and you do 20 arms, and you know the 21, the 21 will look like exactly the same as your previous one. And even if it is another character. So that's why I prefer to not uh, try to copy myself and always looking for new references. I have a, a, a folders packed of references, but I'm mm. always looking for new ones because uh, otherwise you're copying again yourself and not, not putting anything fresh on uh, what you're doing, you know? So... That's true. Yeah, that would, that, yeah. I mean, you couldn't say it any better because that's exactly why I start every character from scratch and I tell people never use a base mesh. Yeah. yeah you know, like, yeah. I mean, it's good to have something as a proportion if you want to have, like, you know, some, you can sure. use a mannequin. You know, Mariano Steiner is an awesome dude, mm -hmm. a great friend and great artist. Love it. He used the mannequins, but he sculpts everything in pose. He, I mean, that takes you to the yeah. next level. Like yeah. I get people ask me, how, when do you start posing? And I'm like, you need to start posing from the beginning. And they're like, so yeah. I shouldn't sculpt symmetrical. I said, you should be able to sculpt however yeah. possible, like symmetrical, without pose, 100%. with pose, everything. Because you're trying to become yeah. a sculptor. You're not just like a, a half a sculptor. You know, you should be able to pose it and then sculpt each side separately. And you know, it's yeah. a... Yeah. It's, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go, 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 go. When you do it like that, it actually magic happens. Like, um, you know, like yeah. when you start sculpting in pose after like doing some basic stuff in symmetry and then posing and then sculpting, you actually become more confident because you can realize, okay, now I can, I can do the job. I can do more than I thought I can do. You know, like an, like a real sculpt, mm -hmm. a sculptor, like the, uh, Mick Lange, yeah. right? I mean, he had a limitation, a marble to sculpt using a block, you know, they couldn't make the blocks bigger or smaller, right? There was only specific that's, that's size they amazing. could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we have all the flexibility yeah. on the world. See, you know, we can go back, we can we can redo, we can we can zoom in out, we can smooth it out. I mean, um I think sometimes we have more or we have so many things that we 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 don't appreciate it. We don't appreciate all yeah. the, the tools we, we have. And, um, and for example, for uh, the all, or like the, that thing you have right there, mm -hmm. I just yeah. was playing with, a, with a, a mannequin and trying to look for the forms and, and uh, trying to uh, look for dynamic poses or whatever, and or for flash that you have right there. I put the mannequin and start playing with the mannequin, and then because it's fun at the same time. I yeah, mean, you are learning a lot, and you are having fun. And if you don't have fun, maybe it's not the job you're looking for. I mean, yeah. Uh, sometimes, sometimes people tell me, ask me, they how I know if this is this is my thing. You know, this is. Uh, the um, the work I will be doing for all my life. 
okay, it is to me it's easy. If if you're working for five hours and it looks like five minutes, that's your work. That's yeah. uh, that's exactly what you have to do for the rest of your life. Because if you're enjoying this, I enjoy my profession as like like if I'm playing video games, you know, it looks sometimes, of course, not always is so happy and, and, and beautiful and, and you have issues, you have problems, you, you get frustrated for things, you don't know how to do it. Yeah. And you need to ask or you need to ask for help or, or just uh, try different things. But that's part of the learning process too. Um, and I think that's uh, if you don't need anything more to learn, that's a bit boring, you know. Uh, that's, uh, I think th that's a good thing about arts. It is you will always have something new to learn or to keep improving. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always fun. Like a sculpting, a sculpting is always like a meditating. Um, it gives me a meditation yeah. feeling. And you know what I say, mm -hmm. like just to add to you, I don't want to, like this is uh, different for everyone, but I always mm -hmm. tell people like if, the mo like when you sculpt, uh, when you do something, if you love it, you don't think about the the job side of it. You know, sure. like when I started uh, art or, or like sculpting, ZBrush and stuff, I wasn't like I, I didn't know I can make money with this. I had no idea yeah. that I can make money with it. And then years later, like three, four years later, I was like, oh, someone wants me to do a sculpt for them. I, it was a toy actually. I have it here since two thousand and six. Uh, mm. It's funny, like uh, it's that was my cute. yeah, that was my first character. Actually, I think ZBrush. ZBrush 2 was, it was ZBrush 2. You couldn't like a sculpt crazy. I had to do a base mesh in Maya and then in ZBrush adjust it because there was no Dyna mesh, you know? Yeah, oh, I remember. <laughs> so yeah, that was the yeah. time that I felt like, oh, I can make money with this. I can also have a life of sculpting, you know? And that's that's actually one how of the things like, that? what's that? No, how crazy is that? I mean, yeah. That we can, sometimes I feel the same. It's like a hobby paid. And they, they are paying me to have fun and create stuff that people enjoy and love and they and then you know um send you messages with pictures of all the statues and then and, and uh, amazing uh, uh comments or whatever and it gives you motivation inspiring yeah. you and then you go and and, and you can travel uh, because of these uh jobs and, and see part of the world and go to conventions and meet people and it's, it's so freaking cool dude i mean it, yeah. it is the coolest thing i ever ever worked in my life and i don't want to move any any inches from 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 what i mean i'm i'm um, right now it's, yeah. it's awesome dude. Which, which one is your most most favorite uh sculpture do you have it with you like do you want to show something on camera i don't know if you want to do that like i see the that. sculpture yeah oh yeah i can show you something if you want um let me let me. Uh, Do you want me to pause the video? Uh, yeah, maybe really pause it. I, I can. Uh, I have one. Here. Uh, I want to put the camera back. Maybe that's better because yeah. it's, it's hard to, yeah, it's to sit right. this way. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, it was better that way. Let me just. I'm going to cut this section 119. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. a good one. I love Wolverine. Uh, like it? Yeah, man. That's Is your it It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite? Yeah. No, my favorite, I think it's Thor. He's oh. uh, in the background. A little bit, uh, Behind, yeah. It's dark. it's dark. Let me open the. Oh, that's curtain. better. Yes. It's hard to see it, but. Yeah, hard to see it. Yeah, that's true. But you have uh, Colossus and the Flash. It, it's hard to point with your camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, going left or right. I, I don't know. <laughs> my finger yes, is, yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> what is that big uh, one? Is that Black Panther? Hulk? The big one on the left? One? Yeah. It's a Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. It's a uh, Hulk Gladiator. Oh, that's the Hulk that I was showing just now, right? Yeah, that's yeah. huge, man. That's big, that's so big. Wow. Uh, it's huge and heavy. That's oh. heavy. Yeah, that's and then it's, it's, uh, it's Wolverine here. is very cool. Yeah, this is one of my nice. favorites. Uh, mm -hmm. One more question, and then let's play a game quickly. Sure. Who is your uh, your favorite artist? My favorite artist, um, 
you can say multiple ones. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will name a few. Um, but my favorite favorite it is uh, Simon Lee. Simon I love Lee. Simon Lee. Mm -hmm. He's a sculptor, a traditional sculptor. Yes. He does one of the. He has a, 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 a natural ability, like a, a magic ability of creating stuff from from I don't know from scratch with so much uh, life and expression mm -hmm. and and uh, movement and he can do whatever he he wants he can do uh, like a horse like that he can do monsters he was in charge of designing the first kaijus for the movie Pacific Rim mm. um, and uh, many many other th stuff too but he can do a lot of stuff that that's from um the Schiffer brothers it's not that good but yeah, i mean yeah. the Schiffer, uh, Schiffer brothers are awesome too and um i love uh steve lord steve yeah, lord steve is lord one is of mine um, yeah yeah it's great too in terms of anatomy i love him so so much he's um how expressive and in proportions and and um uh and i have other other artists too that inspire me so much like raf rosetti for example yeah raf is uh, a monster a, <laughs> raf is a monster he is a kind of alien from another planet i mean no but i'm talking about humans yeah <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah if we're talking about amazing. humans he is not he, he is not unlikely <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, but I mean, what he's doing of he's um, very good. He's very awesome. Is is yeah, all this stuff and and it's, it's very inspiring and motivating. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I and always list continue many, many, many more. Yeah, when I uh, every time he posts something, I get inspired. I'm like, holy crap, this guy made another piece after two days. Every two, every yeah. couple of days, I'm like, how do you do that? Every time he posts <laughs> something, it's me. Uh, like I, I wanna, I wanna go to my my desk and start sculpting something. Yeah, you know? I feel the same. It's like <laughs> he motivates me so much to to do things and actually do. Um, I'm doing more stuff. I think because because of him, because of the, all the artists who is uh, sharing more stuff on Instagram and and all the platforms too. It is like a. It gives me. I, I remember I, I have a friend. He told me, dude, I'm open every time I open our station, it just I, I just want to quit, you know. But it's not the feeling you need to you need to have. It is yeah. to me, it is the opposite. It is like a, oh dude, look at all this amazing stuff. I want I just I love my, my profession and I keep working. It, it motivates me to keep improving, to keep doing, yeah. to keep practicing, studying, you know. It's um, it's uh, really motivating. Yeah, it is. And especially with Raf, like every time I check it, he's he's getting faster and faster. He's yeah. finishing bigger pieces in a, in a shorter time. <laughs> I think he has, I think he has uh, two or three persons uh, sculpture four working hands. on his back. Four yeah, hands. Four, four hands, like <laughs> just multiple times like, at the same time, multiple yeah. computers. And no, you know what's well, interesting? He, he is getting faster and the quality is getting better and better every time. You know, he's, yeah, that's he's uh, just, that's something that it motivates me so yeah. much, and I, and I I can name I'm I'm so awful with names, but I can name a lot more artists that they, they do many, amazing yeah. stuff. Many, many, many. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about this. Uh, let's play a quick sure. game. Um, yeah, I'm gonna you know the game. Like I'm gonna tell you a word, and then you reply with one word. With just one word, right? Yeah, just one. Yes. Ready? Uh, it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get ready. ready. Um, okay, let's go. AutoCAD. Okay, let's go. Auto could, you, could you repeat again? Yeah, AutoCAD. AutoCAD. Um. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> uh, I just I, I was about to say a pain in the ass, but I, that's two work, uh, two words. Well, pain. I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> pain. Let's, let's say pain. <laughs> okay. Uh, architecture. Uh, it's just one word. I can't say just one one word. <laughs> say two words. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> no, no, no. Let, 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 let's think of it in one word. It is um. Now let's, let's say two. All times. <laughs> old times old times well that that's good that's good 
I can together. consider it one. Yeah. Collectibles. Yeah. Pure love. That's two. Pure love. Two, but because, but well, no, it's, because it's of good. one. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. Two is good. Like the, okay. this is considered okay. one to me. I mean, you're expressing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. One expression. <laughs> <laughs> ZBrush. Uh, um, best software ever. Best software. <laughs> best. I will just say best. Best. <laughs> yeah. Practice. The best. Practice. A must. A must. A must. A must. A must. Yeah. 3D printing. Future. Future. Future is already here. It's happening. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's actually what mm. I think exactly about 3D printing. Everything is going to change. Yeah, you is. can print your phone. You can print everything. At some point, it's yeah. going to happen. I, did, did you play... I um, oh, can't remember the name of the game. Jesus. Uh, the uh, Metal Gear or the guy from Metal Gear... Come yeah, on. you you print the I stuff. I forgot the name. Yes. Yeah. You print the stuff. Oh, yeah. oh you mean? Uh, oh my goodness, the the FedEx delivery guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> game. Come on, I played it entirely. Uh, uh, Death is Stranding. Like Death Stranding. That yes. game, you know, that you can print print stuff with like a like a holograms. Yeah. Or whatever the that's technology the it is. That's the future. Yeah. I think that's the things will be like that. That would be crazy, man. Anatomy. Yeah. Passion. Passion. That's amazing. YouTube. Um. Uh, uh, I don't new. <laughs> <laughs> new. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will change my answer. Uh, it's uh, um, fun. Fun. Kids, your kids, uh, life, my life, life, past. What you think? Past? Yeah, like time in the past. Okay. Um, memories. Memories. That's great. Future. Excitement. Excitement. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That, that's so all, really that, hard. <laughs> that <was> hard? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I haven't played any hard <laughs> any hard <laughs> game like this. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> maybe maybe one more, one more. Since I said kids. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, wife. Uh goals. What? Gold? Goals. Yeah. Oh. No, wife, wife, not life. Okay, I'll uh, add life. What do you say? What? Wife, your, your wife, well, spouse. My well, wife, that's um, a love. Love, yes. I said I, love before. Yeah, you I said love. One. You said love before I for. Lost. I love the game. Um, you said co collectibles. You said love. So maybe for wife, you need something, uh, so something more important. Oh, dude. <laughs> I hope my wife is you know, watching this because uh, <laughs> I hope she's watching <laughs> it. <laughs> she's, uh, <laughs> okay, let's fix, she's, let's fix it. Let's fix it. Sharing the same, the same place of my collectibles. <laughs> <laughs> let's fix it, man. Uh, let's fix yeah, it. <laughs> uh, this is so fun. <laughs> uh, okay, let's put love for my wife and collectibles. Um, <laughs> Fun, no, because of fun, I said. I can say it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is hard enough. You messed I'm up. Stopping. You messed it up. <laughs> yeah, I messed I'll it up. <laughs> Dude, I'm That's crying. why I'm, I'm sculptor. That's why I'm sculptor and, and I'm not. <laughs> I don't have another profession. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh man i cannot breathe <laughs> okay i'm gonna i'm gonna change that collective of this was <laughs> all right dude please leave leave this on uh, on your video because it's so fun <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh okay so for wife is pure love and then for collectible is like yeah, fun. Just, whatever. Yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. 
<laughs> uh, no, let, let's put an, another word for collectibles. Uh, um, um, uh, let's say um, mistake. Charm. <laughs> Charm. <laughs> <laughs> huge, huge mistake. <laughs> you just, I'm going. I'm going to sleep outside with, with a dog. <laughs> if you need a, if you need a place, you can come here, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to take a plane just <laughs> 13 hours. No, I'm sure you have an amazing wife. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh man, it's hard to talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. This was good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep that section. Oh, huh? is that okay? <laughs> I think it's yeah, funny. dude, keep it, keep it tight. It was so so awesome, <laughs> dude. This was great. I mean, um, I don't know what else we can talk about. We talked about for one hour and a half. We can we can do more stuff together later. So sure, this is, this yeah, is man. I'm, I'm definitely if you wanna if you wanna do some stuff with my uh, second season of the channel that will be entirely yeah, in English. We can arrange some stuff to do together. Dude. Definitely, it will be super fun. It's and gonna I, be. I will, fun. I'm sure. I will, uh, uh, yeah, dude. I, I'm sure I will keep uh, the format of live streamings. Yeah, you should. And I'm sure you're going to keep this. You're going to keep this format too, right? I'm yeah, sure. I do live streaming. Like I do that. everything. I, I, you know, the, the, all I do every yeah. day because I don't have kids. Uh, I just work. Sure. <laughs> That's my life yeah, right yeah. now. I'm like, what am I doing? I wake up eight <laughs> seven a.m. and then I work. I when I finish my like. Uh, the, uh, I eat breakfast and everything. I finish my game yeah. work and then yeah. I sit down and record a video, do a sculpt, teach. Weekends, I, I don't yeah. have weekends. I'm like, uh, yesterday I went out and I felt, oh, it's cold. It was warm before. Yeah. I, I missed yeah. the season. Do you have a cat, a dog, anything? I have a cat. Do you have any- I, I'm sorry, I have a dog. Okay. He's, he's out. A dog. No. He looks like a cat. Sometimes I say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it says meow, it's not a dog. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's a dog. I have him for 12 years now. <laughs> <laughs> good, I, have, good. I have a dog and I have uh, three bears. I have a macaw. Ah, nice. Yeah, I have a macaw and two Amazon par- parrots. Oh, wow. Parrots. Yeah, they're very noisy. And they, yeah. they, 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 do, do they speak? Do yeah, they yes. Talk? Yeah, sometimes when I talk yeah. on the phone, the Amazon, I have a pair of Amazon, yellow named Amazons. Let me actually show you. I don't know if I have the picture here. I'll show you on, uh, like here, just to, yeah. to show you what they are. Uh, I think I have it on my Instagram. I have a pair of them. And then when I talk on the phone, they're like mimicking some stuff and they're like talking. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> it's kind of oh, weird. Oh, really? Yeah, this is my. Uh, Macau, these are the Amazons. Oh, so beautiful, dude. I yeah, love animals. Yeah, me too, man. You know, actually, I became a character artist because um, I guess part of it is because I love animals. It's definitely part of it is because of that. Like, um, I was I was actually thinking when I was a kid to become a vet, you know, like to uh-huh. dog, and yeah. dog and, like you, Like every kid, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to I wanna be a, a vet when I was kid too you know I yes a kid a bet an astronaut and anything oh else yes that, me too astronaut. we all share the same, the same, <laughs> <laughs> the same but you know what's interesting since i was a kid i had different animals since i was a kid like from five six years old uh-huh. i i had all sorts of uh-huh. i had i had a falcon once um i had a falcon yeah really I had, yeah, wow. yeah i had a falcon but, but uh, back in your country yeah 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 no yeah yeah it was and he died eventually um Mm-hmm. It was very sad. And then, how many years they 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 live usually? I actually didn't don't know his age. Like what happened is like he was sitting in our porch and then back in Iran. Uh-huh. And then I opened it. I was like, what the hell is this? And then um, I gave him food and he he came in. I'm like, what? That's really? weird. Yeah, it was it was so weird. I gave him food and then he became friendly with me out of nowhere. And then I kept him with oh. me. I let him go out. He was flying and coming back. It was just like a weird relationship. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then after that, I had dogs, I had rabbits, I had chicken, <laughs> chicken and roaster. Chicken, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I had um, pigeons in my oh. house. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah dogs, and, uh, cats, chicken. parrots, yeah. you know, everything, whatever you call yeah. it. I just didn't have a snakes, but I love animals. Like, if you look at my Instagram, this is like a, 
I, I don't kill the spiders. Oh, yeah, I don't kill the oh, spiders. Just, I, I, oh, dude, I was, I'm so afraid about spiders. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have, it's, uh, I don't, I don't there, know how you can do that. No, there is, there is two actually in, in our backyard now. They made a house for themselves. They live there. I'm like, don't touch them. Let them. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're fine. Big ones? Yeah, they're like not. They don't. They're not poisonous. I know. Like I check it. I make ah. sure that they're not poisonous. It's just like this big. Yeah. It's not so big. I can touch them. You can touch them. They're just. Uh, I was like one night. I went out and I saw he's not moving. I thought he's dead, and I touched him. He was moving, and I figured like he was sleeping. So. You, but when you touch it, do you just freak out? Like no, like, no, 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 no. 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 I think <laughs> that's, that's something that I think that's something that oh, you born like that. Or you don't basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with that kind of fear, I don't think it's um. Or no, maybe I, I I watched the uh, the movie that can't remember the name of the movie. Arachnophobia. Or no, I'm not. Like that. I was I'm not afraid of animals since I was a kid. I was um I I, I was playing with mantises at the time. There was mantis uh, praying mantis in, in our backyard in Iran yeah. when the weather was yeah. good. Like this is like twenty nine years ago or something like that. 20, I was six seven oh. years old. Yeah. Uh, mantis are bad badass. Yeah, they're, they're just, very cool. They want a box. You know, they're very I, cool, but they, they are just they want a box every time. Like yeah, they put in in position. They're weird. And then um, I got bite. Uh, I got a, like um, honeybee stings multiple times. Like I was touching honeybees, and they were like, <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's painful, wow, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I know. It's <laughs> weird. I got I got spike. Yeah, bite for. I'm I'm allergic, so if I got bite like a several times, I could die. You know? Oh, yeah, they're so dang uh, dangerous if there's like too many of them. Yeah, yeah, they're dangerous. Yeah, yeah, kind but yeah, I love animals. So, dude, uh, this is great. Um, I'm gonna stop the recording. I want to say bye. I don't know if you have anything last yeah. to say, and then we can catch up after this. Plan stuff for future. I'm down for anything. Sure. Um, and, and sure. I'm glad that you're down to this yeah, is man. amazing like we can do amazing stuff yeah together. dude I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to um, uh, take some rest because it was uh, yeah I put for six months seven months all this time Fridays and preparation for every every yeah. uh, you know every Friday I got in, uh, guests and stuff like that but I, now I want to just take a break and study with all the energy and new stuff or new that would uh, be great. Know, fresh look whatever so I'm going to ask you a few questions later sure man when, uh, when, when Tim comes about you know some, some about um, I don't know maybe the microphone uh, the microphone is good but I mean I'm just trying to put some you can improve it so maybe you can improve yeah uh, improve if you want it. to spend a yeah. little bit money I can show you like let's talk about it after yeah. this so uh, do you have sure. anything last yeah, yeah, to yeah. say the last thing or uh, i don't think i think we're good right we we did we did yeah yeah things. it was great thank I mean, you so maybe, much bye bye of maybe, course uh, yeah. stuff like that <laughs> bye bye and you stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right let's so. say bye see you guys next time i'll put the link in the description of your videos youtube channel anything you want courses whatever you have let's uh, i mean people should okay. subscribe hit the smash the like button destroy the like button what else <laughs> yeah just that's one thing that, uh, yeah no i just want to thank you thank you so much for inviting me i, I had a blast and me too man. Uh, it was a great time talking with you sharing you know thoughts and, and experiences so i hope to see you in my channel too oh i'll i'll, I'll be more than happy to do it <laughs> yeah, yeah let's do it man. thank let's, you let's thank plan you let's talk after this see you guys next time bye 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 bye